y'all it is hope at crafty hope and i am doing the second page um, of this kind of series in this mini junk journal that i found in my craft room and i um i don't even know if i had a direction i did kind of i had pulled out some stickers that i knew i wanted to use and some of these pages have things already on them like this one had like distress ink inked around the outside but the inside was completely blank so i just went straight to collaging on some different ephemera i've got a dictionary paper and handwritten notes and there's a piece of washi that was just kind of stuck to the side of my desk and um, from there I decided to add some other Tim Holtz washi just to kind of go with with that little piece that was stuck there and then I'll add some um, little bits of masking tape and then this is all willy-nilly with no plan at all just kind of laying stuff down trying to get me a background to start with I don't really go into most of these with a plan. Um, I just like to see what works and what comes organically from from playing with paints and papers and all of that. So I threw down a little bit of a straw colored acrylic paint with a brayer and just kind of pushed that across the page. And then I've got like a really light blue um, acrylic paint that I'm using a paintbrush to just kind of rub on lightly in a couple little spots. Um, I really liked how that was. Now that is just a simple drawing pencil and I'm scribbling just a smidge to get a tad bit more texture and a little bit of black um, contrast in there. So this green fabric paint, it's a tulip fabric paint spray that I sprayed on there. I don't know why I even bothered to put it on there. Um, put it up in that top corner and blotted most of it off, but there was still a little touch there. So I decided to go ahead and put it on down there in the bottom corner just to have it there in case. Now I took a, um, a distress crayon and like an orangey and I'm just moving it around with um, that same wet paintbrush just to, I don't even know, bring a little orange in there. Um, I guess that was better than that green spray. Now I've got my key. It's, it's a sheet of keys and locks and stuff that are all kind of vintage and yummy looking and I really love this sheet but I never seemed to use it so I broke it out and that was kind of the only thing I had planned for this page was to use one of those stickers so I stuck this old key down and I went around it with my Stabilo all pencil in black and then a wet paintbrush just to kind of give a little shadow and pop it up off that page a little and once I get it, I'm trying to think what I do next on here. Um, once I get that on there, I've got a gold Sharpie paint pen that I was trying to, it, it hadn't been started, so I got it started. And I was going to try to splatter, but I couldn't seem to get that effect to go. Oh, look there, I got blue paint all over my finger. Um, and so I couldn't, so I just made a bunch of just random dots on there to try to give it a little bit of a splatter effect. Um, you don't really see the gold in the end, but it, it was something fun to try. And I've pulled out my bag I've got to organize those hand carved stamps somehow um but I've pulled out my bag of those looking I knew exactly what I was looking for it's um three little x's that I wanted to just kind of put on there on the page a little bit somebody suggested that maybe I do a video showing all of my hand carved stamps and I may do that are y'all interested in something like that let me know and if you have suggestions on how to organize those I'd love to hear it <laughs> so um once I got my X's down I found another little stamp and it's kind of a diamond or kite shape or whatever and I used some of the um that kind of same orange and distress oxide and put it down in a couple spots but I didn't really like the harsh edges of that stamp so I took just a little cloth and kind of blurred it a little to give it less harsh lines. Now that's an also some Tim Holtz words. I don't know what those are called. They're not the chit chat stickers, but these are almost like book page words or something. And I found a sentiment that I thought would work. And I found this inside flap of an envelope that, it, I don't know, the inside flap for some reason kind of looks like craft paper. And I thought that worked really well with some of the other colors. And I tore a little pig piece of the dictionary paper that was sitting there that had made up most of the background and just stuck those down together with the Uhu glue stick and glued them down and then I'm going to go around that sentiment with um, my Sibylla All Pencil in black and again with the wet paintbrush and then I'll take my Sharpie paint pen again the gold one and make a couple little dots also on the um, 
on that brown craft paper type thing and just kind of rub them a little bit. But then again, they don't really show up, but it works. And with that, that whole page is done. Oh wait, no, it's not. I forgot. I did break out my brown, my dark brown distress crayon and um, go around the outside edges and a couple little spots around on the page. I was just trying to give it a more vintage feel, a little grunginess, water stain like. And um, so I just kind of went around with that in a wet paintbrush and um, made it all yummy. And that was all for this page. So I hope you like it. Um, if you want to see more from me or you have any comments, you know, let me know. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I appreciate so much that you came by and watched my video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.